I am the shadow of the universe. I am the creature lurking in the dark, even in the brightest of days. I am known as the Shadow Master. I am your shadow. I know everything. I know your strengths, your weaknesses. I know what you want. What the? You made my job considerably easier. I can stop the current doctor by simply killing you. Who the heck are you? The name's Jane. Night and night. Ah! Marcy, you're insane. I'm out of here. I'm. It's back to the shadow proclamation for me. Have fun with your father. I'm with her on that. You can count me out. Me as well. Mr. Bowtie, are you off then? Well, I actually thought I'd help the doctor here catch those last two prisoners, so that's the right of her. The, uh... But you kept the bow tie. Of course I did. Bow ties are a cool lock roll. Yeah, it has, a, has sparkles on it. Yeah, cool. Cool. Oh, uh, anyway, so since, you know, our TARDIS seems to get stolen a lot, I thought we might as well use the Vortex Manipulator. Ah, cheap and nasty, but very effective time travel. Hmm. On you, my dear. See him anywhere? Well, of course not. We just got here. Yeah, you're right. I got him. Just south of here. Good. The faster we can get them, the faster we can get this thing over with. You really want these prisoners put away, don't you? Yeah, you saw what they did to Elena. <laughs> Fair point. What the? Okay, you three, you're coming with us. Please, take us away! Take us away! Don't let it get us again! The horror! What the heck got into them? I don't know, but it must have been pretty terrifying if they're this scared. I agree. We should probably get them out of here. Yeah. Alright, Sonic, get them ready? Ready. Good, now that's out of the way. Yes, but now we're stuck with whatever the heck scared them. Yeah. What is that? It's a woman. Ma'am? Ma'am, are you alright? She doesn't look like she's all there. Ma'am? She responded to your Sonic. Yeah. Oh, this is weird. What is up with this woman? It's like she's being controlled or something. It had a face of pure evil. What did? The woman. Woman? Yes, woman. Please help me, I'm so afraid. It's as if I look the devil right in his face. Right, yeah, we're gonna get you out of here, okay? Why is she smiling like that? I don't know. What the? <sighs> Hello, doctors. Who the heck are you? Let's just say I'm a better shadow version of you than the Shadow Master. Great. Another shadow version of us. Oh, two Shadow Doctors. It's pretty interesting. Mm. Yes. And you got rid of my companion in crime, the Grim Reaper. He was asking for he it. He was the only one who understood me. So what do you want with us? To finish some old business. Avenging the Reaper's death. Seriously, what is it with people these days avenging other people's deaths? We do it because it's right. Now it's time for both of you to pay for what you've done. 
Where'd you send her? I sent her to the night prom, a place where she will never be the same again. Look, this is between you and me. She didn't kill him, I did. Leave her out of it. I'm afraid I can't, Doctor. You see, she has memories of the battle, meaning she was there. That's why she's involved. You are a doctor. Why are you doing this? You should be on our side. Revenge is not our style. I'm not like you, Doctor. I'm your darkness in physical form. Revenge and destruction is all I know. Is that supposed to scare me? No, but it'll give you a killing headache. <laughs> Good, that'll hold her for a while. I don't find the other doctor. Where am I? I need to get out of here. I need to get back, but how? Look at her. She's nothing but a scaredy cat. She isn't even able to focus. She's useless. Unreliable. Stop, please. Stop. Oh, look. The useless doctor is hiding her face. She's nothing like our doctor. Our doctor is strong. She's nothing but a child wanting its mother. She's never going to get out of here. Never. Oh, there's got to be a way to find her. Is there a way? Answer me! Is there a way to find her? Don't talk so loud! Ugh, might have overdone that bit. There's a breach. I can use that to bring her back to this room. Hello, doctor! Doctor! Can you hear me? Doctor! Can you hear me? Bowtie? Bowtie, is that you? Where is this voice coming from? It's not of this universe. It's not our master. We must prevent it from helping her. Shut up, all of you! She does have a fierce side. About time. Bowtie! Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Are you alright? Well, I've been better. Yeah, I know the feeling. Look, I've managed to find a breach between the two worlds that I think I'll bring you back through. I just need you to aim your sword. <laughs> Give that back! This is over! She deserves to stay there! Look, I told you before, this is between you and me, not her! No matter. She is a doctor, so she will pay. Let her go now! Never, doctor! <clears throat> I can't move! That's the point. Bowtie? Bowtie! Crap, he's gone. We need to find a way to get out of here. <laughs> Oh, you will be doing no such thing. This must stop now. I couldn't agree more. The eclipse all over again. Do your worst. <laughs> this ends now, Doctor! Funny, I just said that to the other doctor. What? You can be two places at once? <laughs> you know, I'm very good at messing with this plant ecosystem. I will suffocate you unless you bring her back. Never. You're a doctor no matter what you say. You can't come out of this unharmed. But you killed my companion. Why would I forgive you? Because I forgive you for what you did to me. Uh, how? It's called being nice. Try it once in a while. Now please stop this. All right. <laughs> Thank you for believing in me when I was so clouded. It happens to all of us once in a while. Now please bring her back. Right. Oh. You. No 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 no. no, no, no. She's on our side. Heck she is. She transported me and tried to kill me. And I'm sorry for that. I promise he's he's talked me into not being in the dark. Is this true, Votai? Yes. Very well then. I'm really sorry. You just need time to figure out who you are, what your purpose is. Once you figure that out, you'll be better than you were before. Thank you. I hope someday I can be as good as you. You will. Oh, well, that was some day. 
Yes, and you know, or if I'm in the dark doctor and then turn her to the good side. Mm. Hard day indeed. Well, uh, it seems like our time together has come to an end. Yeah, so though I think I've had enough of you for one lifetime. Mm -hmm. Until the next time, Doctor. Until next time, Doctor. Well, I suppose I should get going. All right, well, Christmas vacation, here I come. Well, first Victoria and adventures. Then, Christmas vacation. Happening. Why? I'm not even injured. Why is this happening? Well, no, this can't be happening. I just found out that Victoria's dead. I don't need this crap too. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I, there's so many other places I want to go. So many other things I want to see and do. I don't need this. It's not fair. It's not fair. All the other doctors got plenty of time. Bow tie, even sand shoes. But I guess me and Ginger just have short times. It's not fair. Oh, oh, it's really starting, but why? Why? Oh, oh no. no. No, 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 nightmare residue. No, anybody who touches that's pretty much marked for death. At least that's, uh, oh, it's really picking up now. Oh, well, I guess if I can't stop it, there's no use trying. Well, hopefully I'll at least stay a female. I kind of like being this way. Ah. Goodbye, Victoria. <laughs>